I kind of was just like, hey, you know what? I know we're like talking about all this nonsense, but like, I just want to take a minute. I'm really glad that we're doing this podcast. And, like, yeah, it's really yeah, giving definitely. me a chance. I love that you said that, dude, because like I feel like that all the time, but I just you I just can't put it into words. I, I said it to I said it to my therapist. She's all like, what kind of what kind of support support group do you have right now? And I'm like, I have a podcast Dang. with my cousins, and it it helps out a lot because we vent stuff. Um, we have conversations with each other, and um, we we know we know about each other's um, uh, goals and everything. So we we talk to each other like, hey man, like how's it how's that working out? Like, blah blah. Like you know, friendships, and that's a big deal for me. So yeah, definitely. And if I could have any anybody 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 here, I would have Fifty Cent. Oh, oh science question. No Do you support nuclear energy? Yeah. So like, yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. No. Uh, what about? China. Oh, what is that place wherever? Uh, Chernobyl. Yeah, um, where the reactor like yeah. melted or some or shit. Or Fukushima. And, yeah, and then I mean, like, that's the risk, shit. Right? Yeah, I think that's the fear that people have. But, but, it's, but it, we have better technology now. Okay, yeah. then yeah, and and it's a lot more explored. efficient nuclear. I don't and know, you can turn into a superhero if shit hits. Fuck hits the yeah, band. No. <laughs> yes, uh, Godzilla. <laughs> you know, or downside. Other good downside. Radiation poisoning. There's no downside. You either get really badass energy, or we all become fucking Hulk. Sure, sure. Or we die in the Gilbert yeah, said. I mean, that's that's, that's, that's rare. Rare. That's that's rare. Never Shit never happens. <laughs> you grew thick skin. I mean, being a beautiful woman in the industry, I'm pretty sure men were like, holy bejesus. What is going on here? Yeah, yeah there was cat calling and stuff. Um, what worked for me is whenever people would tell me stuff, you know, whether it be vulgar or not, or, or an unintentional, like, compliment mm-hmm. or backhanded compliments, mm-hmm. I, I would ask them, would you have said that if I was a man? Mm-hmm. I mean, they, would, they would kind of think about it and say, well, no, I wouldn't. And I said, then... Depends on what you look like. No, <laughs> You're a really feminine right? man. <laughs> you look like Greg. You're like Brad Pitt. Yeah. <laughs> right. If you look like, if you look like Greg. <laughs> I did an internship in the police department, mm-hmm. and it, it was interesting to see that a lot of the women in there act like kind of like guys like they're yeah. very also even to me they'd be like hey how's that? you know like <laughs> yeah, a little cat yeah. calling me yeah. it was interesting to see how they kind of assimilated to the True. to the culture that was already in the police department because i feel True. like they feel forced to have tact that way if they don't they kind of because i'm i'm on the job market like i said and it, every time like i go to an interview and for whatever reason like i don't get the job people tell me like oh it's just not like the right time for you or it's not your time and i hate to believe that idea you know i don't like <laughs> i don't like thinking like oh but you know, you just start thinking like, you know, just stay positive, just do your yeah, thing, yeah. keep going, and it's just like, good at it. And eventually, you know, um, it'll work out for you. I've always come to this guy when I'm feeling down and like Me? I need some some pipe. See, some, not, not pipe. I go. That's my type. Where did that go from? <laughs> That's my type. No. <laughs> you come to me. I never get it. Right? A pep. I never get it. I need pe- down some pipe. I need a pep. You know, like a, like a little motivation. Yeah. A negative mentality is only going to set you back. Yep. So the only thing you can do is be positive. Mm-hmm. If you're negative, that's it. You're basically quitting yep. by being negative. Um, and you're just setting yourself up for more failure. And I want to succeed. I talk to my dad mm-hmm. about my anxiety because he gets all mad. He's <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because you know my dad lost his house, like his whole everything burned down. He lost yeah, everything, yeah, yeah. and like he's like, imagine, imagine if I was all así todo triste cuando me pasó eso, but nah, he tells no, me, sigue adelante, and I'm just like, sí, yo sé, pero es que todo difícil. You know, like, <laughs> Your dad should have pulled out his nuts, like, mira cómo me cuelgan, tan chingonotes, así los tienes que tener, cabrón, así. <laughs> <laughs> Aguadotes, caro, mira, mira, mira cómo me cuelgan, mira, míralos, míralos. <laughs> Abuelita, dime. Cada año bajan una pulgada más, cabrón. Mira, ahí tengo. No, you see marks on the, on the marco, like going down. <laughs> Siempre las mido. Siempre me mido los huevos. Uh, does he measure them from like <laughs> ground oh, up? Okay. Or like... No, 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 from. From where they were and then to where they're gradually sinking to. And like from the bottom of the nut or from the top of the nut? From the bottom of the nut. I missed a lot of opportunities being in high school. Like, me valió verga. Yeah, like, I was, you didn't know I about it. You didn't yeah. know any better. I wasn't well, no, proactive. I didn't know better. I wasn't proactive. I just chose did you? to be the cool guy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. going to be straight up 100 with you guys. I chose to be the cool guy. Now I'm trying to college. catch up. But I think, yeah. why did you choose to be the cool guy? Because you saw other people being cool guys and you're like, that's what I want to be? Because it's so, to be rich. it's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but what I'm saying you is You like, understand, you what? weren't the you cool were. guy. <laughs> <laughs> you would never fucking get it, you nerd. Because <laughs> you wanted to be rich. But what yeah. it, so you didn't have a role model who was like, dude, just go do this and this will happen. Like, 
positive well, I mean, role models who your could dad was you. pretty successful. My dad, my dad was successful. He didn't go to school. Like, oh, that's why I leaned like, oh, I gotta wake up early, blah blah blah. Because I, that's what I saw from my dad. Like, yeah. He obtained the house, the, yeah. the really good checks and everything from just waking up a little earlier and putting in a little extra work. Yeah. That's why I lean more towards that because that's what I saw my whole life. Yeah. Definitely would say that Sarah and I, you know, learned and benefited a lot from being part of the roller derby mm-hmm. team. Sarah and I are very pretty much conservative. We really don't wear like really sexy outfits and Mm -hmm. stuff. So that kind of gave us the outlet, like, you know, to kind of be silly and explore um, our self confidence a little bit more. And Mm -hmm. I mean, you see so many women of all different shapes, sizes, colors, and, you know, backgrounds. And so it's kind of neat to see us all, you know, start to learn to appreciate, you know, not only what our bodies can do, the physicality of the derby itself, but also, um, you know, to to be able to see different. Different pretty in yeah. different yeah, yeah, ways. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, right. you, you see somebody and you admire them. And you're like, oh, my gosh, this girl's tall and got gorgeous legs. Or, yeah. You know, the other, I mean, it's just it's neat to not have to always be to like the norm of I what. Hear. Yeah. Of what beauty is. Study in, in Mexico. No, no, no. That's why I was asking. Yeah. Oh, OK, so over there, the system is like great. I mean, it's not like super great, but I mean, they show you like. Let me put it this way. Yeah. When you're in middle school, they're already showing you algebra. Right. Like, I was a sophomore. I started okay. as a sophomore. You came in as a sophomore. Exactly. Okay. They were showing me geometry as a sophomore. Yeah. And you were already. And like, I'm like, dude, like they showed me that like three <laughs> years ago. <laughs> Why do you think that is? Do you think in Mexico they just place more of an emphasis like we're gonna focus on the smart kids and just if you don't make it, you um, don't make it. Because nah, here it's like we're gonna go. Here, here it's like we're gonna go slow so everybody can keep up. New like Zealand, I think New Zealand, it's because of that no child left behind thing that started a yeah. long time ago. I think that's why maybe mm-hmm. it's stuff has slowed down here. Mm-hmm. Hey man, that helped me out a lot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm a product. <laughs> right about that, man. I'm a product of the no child left behind. <laughs> but you know, but it, like I'm, the, I'm like the top shelf of the no child. And then child they, <laughs> the hardest thing about dieting or pretty much any like commitment when it comes to discipline, where you're exercising, you're dieting, whatever. It's the fact that it's so easy to justify uh, doing something bad. You can always convince yourself to not do the right thing or to not uh, work hard or to not get up. You think think that's easier? For sure it's easier to give up. For sure it's easier to say everything's fucked. For sure it's easier to say fuck that guy. For sure it's easier to say I don't need your fucking help. I believe so because it's such a knee-jerk reaction. I have anger problems. So like, I'm talking about like in the long run. Oh, oh! Well, it no, gets obviously. it gets harder to keep up with that yeah. type of aggression. Like it gets fucking harder, and it gets it's exhausting. Is it? Yeah, it gets exhausting after a while. It's Just easier so at the it, moment, exactly. But then it gets right. harder. And being positive is hard at the beginning because you get a lot of drawback. Mm-hmm. But then eventually it gets easier. Why? Because the other person gets tired of being. This is a where I'm a bit more conservative leaning. I think there should be a high tech border. A high make it easier to get into the country legally. Well, yeah, okay. that's a, but that's a, that's like a separate that. thing. But I like, like that. for the wall, I say yes, but high tech. Yeah, I like that. So like that. drones and Damn. stuff yeah. like that. I like that. I mean, I we're like, already doing it, right? How about the some mounted thing- turrets? I like. <laughs> Damn. What did you say? What did you say? Mounted turrets, like, like heat- in a sensor, like they come out of the gun. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh, no. We just admire the fact that was a badass gun sound. Dude, that sounded <laughs> oh, like sorry, a legit yeah. just fucking. Like- <laughs> Damn. <laughs> or like laser. The cheetahs. What about the dolphin? Ape, ape. Okay. <laughs> no, the cheetahs. The cheetahs from what is that? The robot company, uh, Boston, Boston Dynamics. Boston Those Dynamics. fucking cheetahs. They have a bunch of cheetahs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, you just see your tío Juan just. Mijo, I got. Are you on it? Yeah. Those things. Just, like, just wait. Why am I tío Juan? Juan? What the fuck? <laughs> just, no, those, like everybody has yeah, a tío Juan. Like, yeah, everybody has a tío Juan. Like oh, those things true. just yeah. fucking people up along the border. Like shit, dude. You just see a. It's a very special place here in El Paso, to where the Hispanic culture and people are very sheltered. Because we don't face so, so many different situations that we kind of forget that we have all of these freedoms mm-hmm. and we don't take advantage of them. Um, as living out east, both in D.C. as well as in Tennessee, um, I faced a lot of racial discrimination. Mm-hmm. And um, it was hard for me to accept because I definitely grew up in the mindset like, oh, you know what, um, racism has died off. You know, we've, we've fought for it. You know, we've yeah. had all of our, you know, the movements to, to better things. And while that may be the case here in this area or in border mm-hmm. towns, it's not the case everywhere. Right. And I didn't realize that until I went to base. Like, when I went to basic training, there's people who've never, ever seen, like, a Hispanic person. A Mexican? Oh, yeah. They came to me and they're like, so, they're like, do you speak Spanish? And I'm like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, you, but you speak English, too. And I'm like, mm, yep. One of the things that I, I, I want to emphasize 
and tell our listeners is that just because society is doing it doesn't mean that you have to do it, right? And it's really common. I've seen a lot of um, situations where, you know what, let's get married. Okay, cool, you know, let's get married and let's have a, a, we a huge wedding, like a $20,000 wedding, you know, it's going to be great. And then after that, you know what, let's go crazy and let's buy a house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, oh my oh, gosh. It's so much debt. Exactly. You know what, I mean, it's, I'm like, let's buy a house. I'm like, okay, hold on, like, what's your income? I mean, yeah. I mean if you're rich, that's fine, you can do it. But I mean, the, the average income in America is around fifty-six thousand like dollars. You know, household, uh, yeah, household income. Yeah. Um, if you think about it, fifty-six thousand dollars for those kind of debt that you're gonna have, it's. I mean, we've said it before. Like, how are how are people buying forty thousand dollar trucks mm -hmm. on a forty thousand dollar a year income? Like, true, true. What are I you love, doing? Like the admiration and like this unconditional love that my that my kids are starting to give me. The other day, dude, I don't know where. So my my um, I'm in the back seat because we went to the mall and I had to sit between the two car seats and so um there and all of a sudden I'm just like messing around with my little girl I'm just like eh, you know like making faces and stuff and then she just looks at me dude out of fucking nowhere and she just goes you make me happy Thank and I was just like oh I was like oh, I don't know yes, do yes. I make you happy and she goes yeah and I was like oh that's so nice and then the other day that's cute man. we're we like to lay down like all of us because we're fucking lazy. And I picked her up and I started hugging her and I kind of started rolling. And she goes, you're my best friend. She just Aww, fucking said that. So I've never said that to her ever because I fucking hate her. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, no but she said so that cute. out of nowhere, dude, like Dang. unprovoked. And like, dude, I was like, oh, my God, like you're giving me something that I, I, I feel like I don't deserve sometimes because I'm, you know, I'm a piece of shit to myself. But like, really, like I was like, damn, I'm glad that I have that, that, that yeah. she can get. Should that there be more restrictions on the current process yes. of purchasing a gun? Yes, it, they shouldn't be banned, but there should be more, more of a process to owning guns. I don't, honestly, I don't know how to handle AK. a fucking gun. Yeah, and yeah, I'd like safe. I don't know where the fuck the safety's at. I don't know how to, yeah, how to like clear the chamber. I don't know yeah. none of that yeah. shit. So I mean, background check, psychological, and training. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Okay. And what about need? Say you live in like a comfortable community, like you're a six foot three man. 250. Damn. Like, why do you need a gun? You can fuck people up. There's also studies that show that just the presence presence of a gun increases the, the, the deaths. Because something happens like, okay, someone walks into the house like... I'm going to shoot the shit out of them. You know what I mean? Like, say it's like... Yeah. Right, right. I you know, you. I say it's you. your, my uncle or something. He's drunk by accident. You're like, oh, pinche, apa, you shoot him. And it's like, uh, oh, era mi pinche tío. Like, oh, I'm sorry. Look, primeramente, <laughs> yo sé que no van a venir, güey. Like? Porque mis papás no les vale verga, güey. No van a venir a mi casa. <laughs> So, you, primeramente, <laughs> if I shoot someone, it's not going to be my best friends. friends or guys. And they get treated really bad by some of the women. Like, oh, yeah? Yeah, with the cat calling and, you know, them being <laughs> groseras. Or, and I think it's just because of the fact that they're like, oh, we're women. We can get away with it. But oh. that's oh, that's horrible. I would no. never. <laughs> it is bad. different, though, I think. I, mean, I wouldn't mind being cat called. Like, I wouldn't mind. Being there's, I mean, there's women that don't <laughs> mind, you know, getting compliments and everything. Yeah. But I mean, at the point like, where you mean aggressive, it's like yeah, grabbing it's you really and shit. bad. Like yeah, but yeah. Like, it I doesn't mean, happen very often that a guy that a girl would like actually attack a guy and like try to like. Yeah, no, it's it, very. It, women yeah. have to be cautious about that because they know that there's more potential for a man to actually do something about. You know, you know, I got ambushed by a group marranos. of cheerleaders, a group of horny cheerleaders. They all ambushed me. <laughs> this isn't off. every, this isn't Pobrecito. a typical, you this isn't I mean? a typical Ay, pornography amigos, bien? movie that you watch. Like, what? <laughs> 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 My mom would say that, right? Like, oh, pobrecito. Joe, Joe Rogan had a funny thing about that. Las niñas. He was like, <laughs> make your meal for the whole week. See, si. By the fifth day, is that last chicken a little bit worse than the first uh, chicken? See, si. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I got to the point that, oh my gosh, at the end, like, uh, that's why I changed my nutrition now. I'm doing salmon. Because, okay. I mean, chicken, I, if I see chicken or chicken bread, I'm like, fucking oh, punch it. You're no. like, oh, it's disgusting. No, I, I yeah, mean, to me, I'm like, oh. I was doing this No, but I, I mean also, like, in terms of flavor. Like, mm -hmm. does that five-day-old yeah. chicken taste the same as the first one-day-old nah. chicken? It gets yeah. drier, too. There That's what go. I'm saying, dude. You're yeah, a disciplined what? guy. To eat five day old chicken, like I don't want to <laughs> do that. You know I, mean? I had them count it. I had to take eat thirty cashews per day. I mean, were, what if you got to work and you were missing a cashew? Would you just lose it? You'd be like, oh, no. My God, where's no. My I, I used to be pissed. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be honest. <laughs> if I got to work, my Who's got the cashew? If I got to work and I was short protein, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go buy protein somehow, <laughs> some way. Because I'm getting all my oh, protein. You get that last one in I, was the I want you to show me, baby. Oh. That I need you. Uh. And who can love you like me? Nobody. Who can sing you like me? Nobody. 
Who can live it all that long? Nobody, baby. And the band keeps playing on. Uh. Uh, uh, oh, that's a badass that's song. A good song. What is the song called? Let me say that shit. Keep sweat right now. How do you nobody. know the titles? Keep sweat nobody. Keep sweat is the hardest, dude. Keep sweat. So the second question is like, do you support mandatory minimum prison sentences for people charged with drug possession? How much drug? Because if, if like, if they're comparing a ton of weed to a, two I, grams of yeah, weed, I you think, know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I yeah. think that's that's because a big say the difference. mandatory is five years. Everybody who has anything has to serve five years. And I think that's the issue, that people being caught with, like, a tiny amount. Oh, you're doing five years. Oh, I think the judges no. that have more I, say. More say yeah. I like this answer. Yes, but only for drug dealers, not users. Or yeah. read Like, if you're distributing, sense. I think that's different. Yeah, definitely. But if you're just recreationally using. Because, uh, like, I want to use it. Marijuana. <laughs> well, marijuana. What are the chances marijuana is legalized? In the next two to three years. In yeah. Texas. In, in Texas. Nationally? Or Texas? Yeah, I guess nationally. Nationally? Bernie Sanders wants to legalize it nationally. Okay. Joe Biden does not. He has an anti-marijuana yeah. thing, right? He sees it as a gateway drug. See, like, Most candidates at least support decriminalizing it yeah. nationally and then letting the states figure out and if themselves. it's How medical. How hard is it to be a girl in the automotive industry? I guess now looking back on things, like you, you kind of start to see like, oh, okay, I was meeting resistance. Up for being a, a female in in the automotive community, but at the time I'm. You didn't really think so, about it. Yeah, you're just so persistent and stubborn, and you know you just you you're going for the gold. I, I think it was sometimes I was met with resistance by like some of the older people that were mm-hmm. concerned that I wouldn't have the strength like to make sure that everything was bolted down or torqued down properly. But because mm-hmm. of that, I, I became very mindful of that fact and started to do things kind of the way the dealerships would, like you know with pen market and make sure that everything was torqued down. I would constantly get asked like, you know, how did you end up here? Which I know that that was kind of like a polite way to say, okay, hi. <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> yeah, what are you doing here and do you know what you're doing? <clears throat> yeah, so yeah. I was, um, that's why I always figured that my technical education was very well, for important. For me, uh, cardio would kill my gains. Right. Because I'm a, far, a heart gainer. So in order for me to gain muscle, I need to do more compound movements. Okay. Right, and work out probably less than the rest of the people. Right. El mito de la gente que dice, hey, bro, carbs are bad for you. Have you heard that? Yes. Carbs are bad for you. No. <laughs> no. I, the best thing ever. Sí, exactly. So, I mean, to me, carbs, I mean, they were great. Porque yo como metabolismo muy rápido, eventualmente yo estaba co- quemando todo eso y necesito mm-hmm. esa energía adicional. Yeah. So, you know how hard it is to consume 3,000 healthy calories? In a day, it's a lot of food. In a day, it's a lot of food. Food. Can you put that into perspective? So, like, let's say a cup of sweet potato, uh, six ounces of chicken. Okay. What six ounces? Como... And a cup. It's like uh, my, my fist. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. And a cup of, of spinach will only give you to like 200, 250 oh my calories. So imagine eating that seven to eight do it. Cabrón. <laughs> that sounds crazy. Tiene base esa madre. No, Bring down the base. <laughs> In your dreams, that's where I see myself In your dreams, that's where I like to be Take me down, and take me down and Take me down, take me down In your dreams, that's where I see In your dreams, and take me down I'm going down. That hurts my throat so bad. <laughs> That was fucking sick, dude That was cool that You know what it cool sounded cool. like? Uh, <laughs> Grandma's boy, when he enters his office, it's like, did that scare you? Like, no, I just don't like techno music. Like, you would if you had robot ears. Oh, oh, no, that reminds me of Fun and Dick and Jane. Oh, yeah. Where, yeah, where yeah. He's like, where in the, he's like, <laughs> he's like doing all these noises. Domo oro, God, domi. Yeah, yeah. And in the future, I mean, the way our AI is going, most of us are probably going to be in the yeah. arts world. Yeah. Dude, tech yeah. is well, fucking China. incredible. No, he's right. Fuck well, yeah. art. Yeah, dude, like, yeah. once all the jobs are taken over and we don't have to do anything anymore, <sighs> art is what's going to rise. That's boring. It's beautiful. We'll be dead by then, Oscar. No. Yeah. Oscar, we'll be dead by then. We'll be, be dead ya, by then. Y ya, si tú quieres hacer algo, pues you do it. You know, but you don't have to because there will be a robot there who will fucking run to Oh, that's lamp. the thing. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't want to have that choice. Our lamp. Because my off. choice 100% is going to be like, no, it's not. With my <laughs> like, you're, you're just trying to protect yourself <laughs> from your own laziness. Sí, güey. I have to. Like, I have to put it in, like, inherently, like, I want to do shit. I want to chill. <laughs> like, I just want to. Like, I want to go back to my high school years. Can no, can no, just chill. Yeah. I was Enjoy just life. chill, fuck, 
Have a good time. <laughs> Reverse. Like, and dude, that's but who it. doesn't want that? That's a beautiful ah, life. Yeah. And then you do what you want that you're passionate about. Like that's why you think if we're rich, we're gonna stop doing the podcast? Probably not, because we enjoy Probably. it. You I know what it. I mean? Yeah, I get text. <laughs> I tell myself to be a feminist, but I, I don't think there's a way for me not to be a feminist and not to and be part of the automotive community. Sometimes I don't like the way feminism is is portrayed. Like you know, you've got like the stereotypical feminist of you know the <laughs> ladies that don't shave or they just really kind of don't take care of themselves right. or they're just like man hating ladies. I think you can be a feminist and not have to fulfill like the stereotypical the type. It makes me kind of sad to say that I think um, people have made feminism to be something that's a bad thing. If right. you're labeled into that feminist role. It's automatically assumed that either one, you're gay, right. or two, that you know you hate men. Yeah. And I don't hate men. I love men. I love working with men. And you know, it's. I don't know. I just I don't like all that the weight that the word feminism right. carries. But yeah. I also don't want to disrespect it and and not um, acknowledge it. Yeah, not acknowledge that there yeah. that there is a gender gap within the workforce and that it needs work.